Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Sunny here coming at you guys with another Neverwinter video. And before we jump into discussing the title and thumbnail, obviously we're going to be talking about the roadmap, Neverwinter livestream, all that good shit. I just want to say thank you to all my supporters over the last couple days. You guys have been absolutely killing it. So welcome everybody who is new to the Sunny Nation or the Sunny Army over here. Ha! <laughs> And everybody who's been rocking with me since day one, you already know, it's been your boy. But yeah, before we jump into this real quick, we want to talk about, it was about an hour long, Chris and Julia were the two hosts of the most. Now, I want to make this point in the beginning of the video, bro. Neverwinter, hit up your boy Sunny, man, let me get in on the action, right? Let me get in on the action. I want to be part of the next stream, next live stream, you know, just send me, how do I got to do it? How do I got to set my shit up? You know, let me get in. I want to ask questions. I want to feel more involved in the community. I feel like I've been grinding way more. You know, they say they want to be more intertwined with the community. Then prove it, right? Prove it. Bring in more people, you know, to me, it doesn't matter about subs. It just matters about your mind and what you could bring to the table, right? And I feel I could bring a lot because I have a lot of questions that I like to ask, you know, a lot of knowledge and a lot of things. A lot of the times with these live streams just get passed over because they're just so disorganized and so disjointed, right? Like even from the jump, you know, they're having quality issues and stuff like that. That's stuff that should be worked out, in my opinion, you know, over practice. But I feel as a co as a corporation, you know, maybe if you were like a single out live streamer, you know, these are problems you should run into. But as a corporation representing a business and everything to have like laggy connection, in my opinion, is kind of whack. And it just shows like, really, you're that cheap because I don't even think my shit be lagging like that bad. And I was like, damn, y'all, y'all make y'all definitely make more money than I do. But my shit is probably set up better. But anyway, you know, we're getting out of hand there. But yeah, we're just going to be talking about the couple things that they did discuss. Because majority of these time in the live stream, you know, they retrack a lot of old things, you know, tell us information, then can't give us too much details on it. So what I can provide you with is a new class coming, okay? How broad is that? No details when, no details on the, on the you know, what it is, what mod you know, there's speculations out there. Nova's made some videos about it being a bard or something along those lines. But to me, I'm not even really pumped about it. It happens. It happens. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I would rather you put your resources into better in the game before you release a new class. So that way the class will be better off in a better game. But whatever, you know, you got to do what you got to do first. That new trial has been pushed back to six weeks due to all the events with COVID-19. You know, that's another big thing with this new stay-at-home order and everything going on in the world now. It has affected even Neverwinter. So, you know, a little, dis you know, not disappointed, but, hey, you know, you got to make do with what you got. It also gives Neverwinter more time. So, hopefully, this also gives them more time so they can release something with less bugs and give them more time to expand. And, you know, I'm just looking, I'm trying to look at the bright point of things. I'm pretty sure this is not what happened and it just gives them more time to just sit at home. But... <laughs> Um, it, yeah, other than that, you know, they were talking about new rewards, but they couldn't get into specifics of them. Obviously with a new trial, you come with new rewards. He did say something about rings, new gear, gear that needs to be leveled up through progression was another big thing that they wanted to emphasize. You know, they trying to change the way we play the game of Neverwinter and, you know, they have to do it correctly. Or else there's going to be a lot of drawback from the community because some of the ideas they're trying to incorporate have already been done and they were incorporated pretty shitly in case like when you had to you know gather so many materials and you know massive amounts of resources to restore gear you know back in the day fbi you needed so much von and blood to restore your piece of gear and you had to keep filling it with von and blood that was one of the things i didn't like at all like, even after you upgraded it, you still had to feed it Vine and Blood. Well, that's a terrible. That was terrible, right? So they definitely have to stay away from that. Another thing they were talking about is new drops, as always. New drops, new rewards. Same thing they keep saying in pretty much every live stream, but it's not really turning into new reward changes for the game 
they want to rotate out dungeons dungeons i said it again rotate out events so that way every year you won't see the same event which is a good idea the only problem is the events sometimes they have to upgrade them and chris said that he wants to update the events before they come out with any new events which is the right thing to do it's the right thing to do a lot of the times you know i'm not going to get into it where they were saying they got codes and everything to give away and you know stuff like that I'm not going to get into that aspect too much. I don't want to make this into a rambling video. But, you know, they only pick certain people. And it just sucks because you'll never be able to get some of those items if you don't play at that specific time frame. So it's also kind of one of those things where that event won't come back for another year. You know what I mean? Depending on the event. I know there's events that come around every year. Summer Festival, Winter Festival, you know, the Jubilees. There's just some events that they can take out of the game. But some of them, too, that are rotating ones aren't that bad. You know, there's a couple out there that get in the rotation that aren't too bad. That to not be able to do for a whole nother year, you know, this might change the game a little bit of Neverwinter. Because now people are going to be more, you know, hell-bent on keeping some of those event items withhold. Even for six months, you know, because that event won't come back until... A whole nother year so you have time to sit on them items let the items on the market kind of evaporate and then post yours up at obviously you know ridiculous prices but you know there's a couple of other things they touched up on a live stream but at the same time i don't want to make this video too much longer if you want to see the live stream in its entirety go check it out on twitch.tv you know just search neverwinter or you know go to their official art games page you know they got links over there other than that, you know, if this is a video, this ain't, this wasn't a major live stream that you had to necessarily see. You could probably get away with just watching some of your favorite content creators' videos and be okay. Save yourself an hour and 15 minutes of just, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say bullshit, but just pretty much beating around the bush for a lot of things. Of course, we expected there to be the delay with everything going on now. But I feel like I'm going to start rambling here, so I'm going to cut myself off before I do. You already know it has been your boy Sonny here, and as always, guys, I will check you out.